about a return to the good old days. That's the promise we've heard from many political leaders, including our current sitting president. But what if that's all just a myth, a myth that leads us astray? An article in the journal Nature titled The Illusion of Moral Decline argues that the perception that things are going downhill is heavily influenced by the way our brains work, particularly to well-established psychological phenomenon. More on this, I'm joined by the author of that piece, Adam Mastriani. He is an experimental psychologist and the author of the science blog, Experimental History. Adam, you write that this idea of the good old days has been around since there were days, which is to say forever. How did you go about interrogating your thesis, which is that that's a bit of an illusion? So there's no objective measure of how well people treat one another in the course of their everyday lives. We, you know, can't go uh, drilling ice cores in the Arctic to uh, check um, ancient levels of uh, people being kind to their neighbors. What we can do is look at surveys that are done over time that ask people about their perceptions of uh, others around them and things that they themselves are doing. So, for instance, were you treated with respect all day yesterday? Have you um, done various kind things in the past 12 months, like look after uh, people's pets while they were away, or give up your seat on a bus to someone who needed a place to sit? And what we find over and over again on these surveys is no change over time. Um, and we find pretty strong evidence of that, which goes against this idea that people have become less kind, less nice, less honest, and less good. So in their personal interactions, in their day-to-day -day life, people are essentially feeling pretty good about the moral order. But when they look at the society as a whole, they think what? Uh, they think that things are getting worse, yeah. So, uh, so in another study, we asked people about what they think about people that they know personally, and they told us those people have gotten better on average. So everyone, it's as if everyone is standing on their own little island saying, my island is great and getting better, but every other island out there is bad and getting worse. But the thing is, if you visit those islands, the people there are saying, my island's great and it's getting better. It's your island that's getting worse. So the reason this intrigued me, of course, is that in the national conversation, it is very much the case that people say things are awful, and often they have political motivations for saying this. Um, but what are the cognitive biases that are in play uh, in the brain? You say there are two. What is biased exposure? Biased exposure is the idea that you primarily attend to and receive negative information about people that you don't know. So in the news business, I understand you call this, if it bleeds, it leads. Uh, the main thing that I hear about people that I don't know is that they're doing bad things. They're embezzling money. Uh, they're doing terrorism. Um, they're, they're lying to the public. Uh, that's biased exposure, the, the first of these two cognitive mechanisms. We're expending our last breath trying not to behave that way, just if I can speak <laughs> at the point of personal privilege. Um, so that's, um, that's biased exposure. So what's biased memory then, the second, second cognitive issue? This is the uh, phenomenon where the badness of bad memories fades faster than the goodness of good memories. So, for instance, if you got turned down for your high school prom, that probably felt pretty bad at the time, but 20 years later, it's maybe a funny story. If you had a great high school prom, at the time, that was probably pretty good, and 20 years later, it's maybe a pretty good memory still. And so these bad memories tend to fade, you remember them less, or they even become good memories much later on, and the good memories stay pretty good. And if you combine that with the idea that we mainly look at bad things in the world, you can create this illusion where every day it looks like things are bad, but every day it looks like things were are worse today than they were yesterday. But yesterday, if we would have asked you, you would have said that they were just as bad as today. We'll try to keep this in mind as we sort what is discussed in the National Political Conversation. Experimental psychologist Adam Astriani, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me.